everyone. Um, while I'm in the kitchen, I've got the light, well, fair enough light. Um, I thought I'd show you a couple of projects that need to be finished and now, um, as I'm getting better, I'm going to attempt to start and finish them. Uh, this one is um, a frame that somebody sent me and I'm really, really sorry. I cannot remember. People know I've got a memory like a sieve, I can't help it. Um, but I can't remember, somebody sent me this gorgeous frame, it's one of those, you know, like um, the paper mache frames. Uh, oops, and it's quite cushiony, but it's uh, gorgeous. So um, I thought, well, I'll try and cover it, because I haven't finished it, so don't take any notice of it. I've not finished any of these things. These are unfinished product, uh, products, projects I'm going to be showing now. That I'm got, I want to get finished while, um, as and when I feel well enough to do it. But uh, so far, what I've done with it, I've completely um, edged it all and coloured it all with the Tim Holtz walnut stain. Uh, after that, <coughs> excuse me, I had a piece of A4 paper and it had a little bit of like there was something of Paris, something of London, something of Rome, um, something of Italy, and things like that. So I tore all the little bits up and stuck them on using a water. Uh, um, and PVA glue mix that I use. Oh, is it? I just water the tacky glue down basically and but it really really holds firm and uh, so I've done that. Uh, I completely coated it with the water and glue mix and then um, from I've, uh, I have a collection of stamps but I do have quite a few now because quite a few of you have sent this very kindly sent me them um, so I had some spares so I just wanted to put that on as well but before I put the stamps on I use my big script stamp I just stamped it there. So I'm not bothered about this being on here because the picture will eventually sit in there. Uh, so I stamped it at the top, across the top there, and then I stamped it again across the bottom and then stuck the stamps on. And these stamps are from um, several people um, and they're uh, from all over the world, I think. Bit of this, bit of that. So that's a project that needs finishing. I did, after finishing uh, all the stamps, putting the stamps on, I gave it a full coat and it's um, it's like a matte varnish that I've used, so it's not a gloss, it's a matte, um, just to seal it all, because uh, there are some flowers and, and spray, like a flower spray going on it and that, um, which I'll be doing for Wild Orchid Crafts, and while I'm talking about Wild Orchid Crafts, I have an announcement to make. Um, Wild Orchid Crafts have decided to sponsor me. <laughs> I'm absolutely thrilled to pieces. And um, I always use their flowers, I absolutely adore their flowers, so um, I'm very, very grateful that somebody even wants to, but there you go, uh, they are going to sponsor me, uh, sponsor my YouTube channel, and I will be creating quite a few things using all of their products, so uh, I'm absolutely thrilled with that, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I really am. We're going to be selling some of their flowers in our shop as well, as um, me making some craft projects with them. Um, so thank you to Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, also, I was contacted on Wednesday um, and asked Samuel Turner's want to um, put some of my creations on show in the shop and they're also uh, getting ready now, all the paperwork's getting ready for the workshops that was going to be starting. Um, I think she said it was in the new year, it's either the middle of December or the new year when they're going to be doing all the new workshops and they want me to uh, do some for them so I'm absolutely thrilled at that so things are really looking up for me. I just wish I'd felt a bit fitter to <laughs> absorb it all in and uh, and celebrate about it because it's uh, you know it's quite a lot. You have to excuse my desk, it's got glue on it, look, dry glue. So my husband's going to have to sand it down and redo it. <laughs> I'll be getting crafting in your kitchen sometimes without a mat. No, it's not me actually, it's the kids when they come. Anyway, so that was the good news. Uh, workshops for um, Samuel Taylor's and um, being sponsored by Wild Orchid Crafts and I'm absolutely thrilled at that, I really am. Anyway, I do know that a lot of you, um, since there's several of us on the YouTube that have mentioned about these Wild Orchid flowers that we use, and um, I do know by what I've spoken to at Wild Orchid Crafts when I spoke to them that, um, well, I didn't speak to them and we emailed each other that, uh, you know, they're very grateful for anybody who does that and um, um, and they 
do appreciate what we do for them. So uh, it's only nice and, and right that they, uh, they, they... It's not only nice and right, you can't say that. It's it's very nice of them to sponsor people. And um, they're going to do that with me, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Let's move on. Right, I know I've shown this before, but it wasn't finished. Now, this is fabulous for a little... Uh, it's one of those little round bo oval boxes. Right? And what I did, I um, used my own glimmer mist, the mint green, um, and then covered it, well first of all I covered it completely with the um, beaded gel and then on top of that I sprayed it with the um, glimmer mist of mine used the wild orchid flowers to go in there beaded a piece of wire, it's quite a stiff wire doing a split ring at the top and then this little card which is from the Mariposa paper um, glossy accents on the uh, butterflies and then stuck that in there because what you can use this for you can use it as a gift to give somebody uh, where they can add like a, fo a photo here or they actually look fantastic on your dining table <coughs> excuse me if you're having a dinner party or something like that you could make these and then put a placemat for everybody's name um, and you know it look absolutely and then give them, give them to them as a gift at the end of the party dinner party so um really nice idea but what I did I put a pearl string around the top used some gorgeous gorgeous in vintage lace um, and then added this lace that I bought um, I think it was when I was out with Caroline maybe 14 one day we were shopping and buying trimmings and whatever so there's that and I absolutely I'm not sure you can't really see it shame you know it's, it is it's gorgeous so I'll just show it like this anyway Oops, cards falling out, but there you go. And there's the beads and the top, and the card just sits in the top like that. So that's finished now. So I wanted to show you that. I probably before can't remember. You know what I'm like. Um, the next thing I want to show you is um, this little box. Now it's not copied off anybody. This is at my head, and I wanted to uh, design a little box that I could use for putting trinket bits in that I don't want to lose because I you know everybody collects little tiny bits that they have a bit of this bit of that that you've got left. So what I've done is um, I've made this box and the handle there's a handle on it it's a little box that comes out it's made out of all of it's made out of uh, chipboard apart from the, the actual drawer and it won't come out because I put a lip on at the back but it's a little wooden drawer cab uh, chipboard front um, I'm not sure if you can see that so it pulls out um, with the lace here along the front. I'm oh, sorry, I've got it The lace at the front. Actually, I should have put the lace a little bit higher up, but you learn by your mistakes. Um, stuck the um, crown on here. So these pull all the bits of string off it. Edged it all with pearls. It's got a little deck there for me to sit something on. I could put my stickles, bottles on there or whatever. And. Um, Coloured this using the Reeves's gold paint. Coloured this, uh, the leaves with, um, what was it called? Um, oh dearie me. See, my, my, my head just goes. Um, memory like a sieve. Not crafty notions, it's um, Cosmic Shimmer. And then this is one of the roses, the I Am Roses that Marlene sent me. She sent me several to see whether I liked them or not. I do like them, but uh, I have to be honest, ladies. I have to be honest. I do like wild orchid craft flowers better. I do. I'm sorry, I can't help it. And I'm, I'm not uh, going to lie. I'm honest. I'm too honest with that. But this is a little box at the side. As you can see, it's the underneath. I didn't paint that, but it does need painting now. Um, and the back of it. Like that. And there's a little box that I've made. Just painted it black, um, acrylic paint, and then added all the trimmings. So that is that. What's on your 9.41? Right, I'm going to start and show you this mini that I've just started. Well, as I say, I've just started. I've not. I've got to finish it. This is it. I'm doing little bits here and there. Now, I'm going to take this off because um, none of the pages are put together at the moment. I'm going to 
quickly show you this one. My grandson wanted this, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm taking this rose off. It is one of the I Am Roses. I don't like them. I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not uh, keen on some of them. But um, I've used the Tim Holtz paper. Don't ask me what collection it's from because I can't remember. Um, also, one of his crowns from one of his dies. These are the um, Paper Mania chipboard letters, upper and lower case. This is one of the Tim Holtz cog. The smallest cog from his die actually fits over the um, hitch fastener. Just fits, it just fits perfect over it. Um, which I've coloured in gold. It has got some corners on, some of the vintage corners. And this is a little tag that I've done. <coughs> um, and I stuck, cut the picture out, stuck it onto the disc. And it's a plastic disc, just an uh, acrylic disc. Like a tag disc, it's got a hole here. Uh, and then covered it completely with um, <coughs> um, oh God, glossy accents. Um, and as you can see, so I'll show you like that, sorry. And it's my memories, and it goes, the, the letters go up and down, up and down like that, to be able to fit it on the page, actually. Um, just made from chipboard. Here's the birdcage that I've done, and I've used again the uh, Tim Holtz Distress. Another one that's like sandpaper when you've embossed it. Uh, it's embossing powder, the distressed one is like sandpaper, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I, I think it's called walnut stain, isn't it? Is it called walnut, walnut something? Anyway, I've done that, hand painted the butterfly. I just want to show you the butterfly because it came out really, really well. And that's using watercolour paints and then just glossy accents on the uh, and glitter on the wings, on the wings, should I say. But it's all hand painted using watercolour paints. Let me show you that again. And now it's not very bright. Oh, that's a bit better. Um, so that's that. And now this is, I've only got five minutes, I think. The next page, what I've used, I cut these pictures out individually. Stuck them on the back of the Tim Holtz, um, you know, the strip, film strip. And then I've uh, stickled it using a diamond stickle all the way around each frame. And uh, it's now a pocket, you know, like a, a fits a little tag in it or something like that. So I do like that. Everything's edged in walnut stain and darkened. I did darken the paper quite a lot. And then I used one of his little pins, hanging some um, ordinary brown um, aged safety pin. And this is just a little disc that I'm going to put a picture on there um, when it's finished. And then nothing at the back, because I've not done everything at the moment. Um, again, using the Tim Holtz um, cog, just half of it for a pocket. But they're not finished at all at the moment. They're just not finished. And I have done some stamping on this one. And then these little um, little folders in here. Um, stamped with the script and then put the um, clock on it. Uh, this one's in it. Somebody sent me this old, um, it was a chipboard key. So I've stuck the pin in, Tim Holtz pin, so I can stick something in there. And then again, another one of these. No, actually, these were from, um, these were from, um, Stephanoid? Can't remember. I know one of them did. No. Oh, well, it might have been, I don't know. But whoever they are, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so, um, that's like that. And then another safety pin here. One of the biggest rustic safety pins. And use the, um, Tim Holtz Distress, Walnut Distress inks on it. Um, embossing powder on that so it's quite it's like sandpaper when it's done i like that one um, and no, i don't like this one at all um, I, these are not going to stay in there i just put them in to see if it held um, but i use the numbers and stamp the numbers on the um, game pieces um, and then just stuck those cards in there but i think i'll cover the cards There's nothing on the back it was the bingo one so i just used those and stamped the numbers on because it, it went with it the sort of thing Been putting the these on the computer on the keyboard and something popped up and asked me if I wanted to keep the sticky keys on or something. <laughs> I'm going to come back in a minute. See you in a bit. 